Serena and I haven't been filming it, but we've been really busy lately. Uh, I basically am trying to not waste any time of the day. I'm doing this little experiment that I'm calling always busy, always on my feet. And I can assure you I'm on my feet a lot. I think I've lost like 10 or 15 pounds just since doing this in the last like month and a half. Trying to be productive at all times of the day from, you know, when I get up to when I go to bed. And for those keeping score at home, I do consider family time being productive. So, you know, I always have time to hang out with my kids and stuff. Usually they're, they can hang out with me while I do stuff. Um, but a lot of the times, you know, they need their individual attention too. But I mean, that's what life's all about, right? So I'm not exactly neglecting my family, but at the same time, I'm trying to uh, always, you know, get some tasks done. And then, uh, you know, what do they say if you finish all your tasks? If there's time to lean, there's time to clean. So I have been cleaning a lot as well, just trying to keep the house a little cleaner than we normally keep it. We're not the neatest people in the world, but we do try to have a clean floor under the mess. You know what I mean? You guys all get it. So uh, super busy, things that we've been working on. Uh, as you can see behind me, there is a lot of tools on the wall. My workshop area is getting close to being done. It's not there yet, but um, it's definitely come a long ways. So I'm really excited about that because already when I'm doing tasks and I need tools, I know where they are mostly because um, everything's kind of getting sorted into a spot. And this is like really fun. It's really fun to organize your tools. So I'm pretty stoked on it. <laughs> to do what we need with the farm, we only need a 4,000 square foot garden. Uh, that garden is probably eventually going to become our personal garden, but for this year, it's the farm. There's a lot of cooch grass in there, and it is a pain to get out. So I have been hand sifting like all the soil, and I wouldn't be doing it if we weren't getting so much rocks and grass out of there. I'm getting like you know, for every bed, for every 50 foot bed, I'm probably getting like two wheelbarrows of like grass and like small rocks out. Like it's taking so long. It took me three days to do just five of the beds. And I have 10 more to go. And that was three days of work. That was three days of like really hard work. So, um, there's, we just don't think that there's anything we can do about it. We think we just have to bite the bullet and sift through all the dirt because otherwise there's, that grass is just going to retake root there and it's going to go crazy. And if I till it right now, while it's all like fresh and green, that cooch grass is just going to like split into like a million green pieces and send up a million shoots. It'll make it worse. So first step, uh, just sift it. Just keep, just keep doing it. Just, you know, just get her done, get her done. And I did, so I'm pretty happy with that. We have been doing like a lot of things that are kind of like labor intensive that might make everybody roll their eyes. And one of the things that we've been doing that makes us roll our eyes is paper pots. Um, you know, plastic waste is really important to us and it's a big issue for us. So we are trying to minimize our plastic usage. You know, there's so much, like we've never actually bought as much plastic as we have doing the farm with all the farm trays and the pots and stuff like that. But we're at least trying to uh, use as little as possible. And one of the things that we've been doing that's super tough is paper pots. So you can see all these paper pots. That is enough paper pots to do like two trays of starts once they get like planted out. And that takes, you know, maybe an hour to roll them for Serena, maybe, maybe a bit more. She's pretty good at it. She does it pretty fast. And then you have to uh, put dirt in it and kind of like fluff out the bottom so that they maintain their shape. I mean, look at that. Look at how uniform those are. They actually work really well once you're using them. Uh, I was pretty amazed last year how well they held together for Serena. So. You know, I'm willing to put the effort in because it's important to us to minimize our plastic use, but it is a major time sink and uh, you guys would just, it would blow your minds to see us doing this because it's so slow and you're like, you guys could do so much else.
Yes, we could, but this is important, so whatever. That's how we're doing it. Deal with it. Thanks for watching. Click subscribe to see more of our videos, and then you can check us out in the future, too, with all the cool stuff that we're doing around here. Thanks again. Bye.